And the Kenyan coast is known for azure blue waters and award-winning sun-drenched beaches. But under the clear waters of the Indian Ocean, a new monumenting venture is slowly taking shape, that is seaweed farming. A coastline community in Kwale County has embraced this mode of farming, smiling deep into the waters and all the way to the bank. O'Brien Kimani now highlights the highs and the low tides of Kibuyuni seaweed farmers. Deep in the waters, that has become the lifestyle of many residents of Kibuyuni here in Shimoni of Kuala County. Every morning, they have to venture deep into the waters to check their cash crop. And this is not fish. I'm talking about seaweed. This crop has changed their lifestyles for good. It has helped them take their children to school and build better houses. Tucked about 30 miles east of Diani, Kibuyuni is a backwater village surrounded by various attraction sites. From Kisit and Punguti Marine Reserve and Coral Caves, they attract thousands of visitors each year. But despite this, the community has remained poor for years with the poverty levels above Kenya's national average. But this narrative is slowly changing thanks to new opportunities. In the last 10 years, a new business venture has been taking shape, pioneered by local women. In the year 2010, about 50 women formed the Kibuyuni Seaweed Farmers Cooperative Union after years of nail biting poverty levels. Supported by the Kenya Marine and Fisheries Research Institute, the women came together to invest their time and energy on this new venture. <laughs> itatufa na inatusaidia na humradi ulitusaidia sana twashukuru kwa maana ile maisha tulikuwa nayo baadaye na sasa tukilinganisha na maisha tuko nayo yako tofauti at first there were the loving stock of the village for breaking from the social norms but as the days grew old the locals started to appreciate their efforts si mateso kwetu bali tumezoeleka na hatuna shida kwa ufupi hatuna shida na saa hii hii hiyo mwezi aliyopita sasa hii wakulima wanamiminika wanajirejesti kwenye hii cooperative yetu kibuyuni hii ina manufaa sana though a new phenomenon in Kenya seaweed or kelp farming has been around for centuries with China Japan and South Korea being the dominant players in Asia the weed is used to make eco-friendly plastic dessert as well as for beauty products. Here in Kibuyuni, the crop is used for making fish pellets, soaps, hair shampoos and shower gel. But new market opportunities are emerging in the United States as well as Asia. Mwani tunatengeneza tunasaga unga, ambapo unga pia kuna benefits nyingi ambazo tunatumia katika kuweka katika chakula, Na pia huo ungo kirudi tena pia tunatengeneza donut, tunatengeneza keki, pia tunatumia katika maandazi. Ambapo tuko na vyakula kama aina kama nane hivi. Ambazo pia tunatumia kutengeneza kutumia huo unga wa mwani. But this venture is not for the faint-hearted. At the click of dawn, a team of women streamed to the farm about 350 meters from the shores to attend to the crop. Sisi kweli wakulima wa kulima wa seaweed seaweed zinahitajika kulima kwenye bahari bahari ni maisha hii bahari toka tuzaliwe na mababu na mababu walitukuza wa mama zetu wa mababa zetu walikuzwa kwa minajili ya bahari sasa sisi wa kulima kilimo cha seaweed hufanyika kwenye bahari hakifanyiki kwenye maji ya, ya mto manake seaweed ukizilima kwenye maji ya mto zina rotten zinaoza it is a hackling task where one has to venture deep into the above west waters to tend to the crop. A gram of the crop once planted will give you 1.5 kilograms of seaweed, selling at 15 shillings per kilo. After six weeks, the weed is ready for harvest, where it's dried and packaged in bales weighing 100 kilos and ready for export. <laughs> tukona tofauti kubwa kwa sababu kuna mwenye ambaye amejenga nyumba ya blocks na ameka bati kwa hiyo tumetoka katika nyumba za kitamaduni ambazo ni za udongo 
tukaenda katika maendeleo stage ya maendeleo ambapo tumetumia blocks mm-hmm. na kuweka pia mabati mm-hmm. kwa hiyo tunashukuru pia alafu kirudi tena katika hii bidhaa ya mwani tuko na ujuzi ambao tuko nao kidogo tumeweza kuwezeshwa na watu wa Kirdi kutoka Nairobi wameweza kutufunza bidhaa kadha wa kadha kidogo ambazo tuko nazo kwa hiyo tunatengeneza sabuni na tunatengeneza shampoo tuko na sabuni pia ya maji mm. ya kuna ya kuoshea mikono mm. na tunatengeneza pia gel na tunatengeneza pia donuts na, e, na vitu vingine kadha wa kadha but the returns are not high due to lack of proper packaging equipment a kilo of seaweed bar soup will cost you 900 shillings almost five times the ordinary bar soup apart from you know making fish pellets you can also use a uh, seaweed to make a shampoo or even shower gel and maybe if that is too much for you you can opt to go for a bar of soap which according to the makers here is actually soothing and good for your skin and even as they explore opportunities elsewhere they are worried about a planned seaport in the area the port of shimoni hii bahari nataka kuchimbwa ifanywe poti kuna kule upande mwingine bahari nataka kuchimbwa ifanywe kampuni ya kuchemsha ya kuyayusha vyuma na ni meli ambazo zitoke kule Ulaya meli ambazo zimepita karne na karne zivurutwe zikuje hapa kibuyuni ambako tuko na mradi sisi wa mama wavuvi wataathirika na sisi wa mama wataathirika the women of kibuyuni are hoping that the government will support them set up a proper packaging system to help their produce access markets beyond the village but for now it is weed weed and more weed for the prosperity of this sleepy village of kibuyuni or brian came for business insight